Welcome back to the back cave, everybody. This is the Batman Collector, and I am here with what is for me an absolute dream piece. You can see I have the one third Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman from Blitzway, also and with license with Prime One Studios. This will be my second Blitzway one third. Uh, my first one being this Joker over here, which is a bit of a divisive piece. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think it's great, but this. This thing, I think, is going to be very sought after soon. Um, I think that Blitzway has taken to heart a lot of the flack they've gotten for some of their production pieces, and I think they've really been up in their game. And this piece, from what I've seen so far, just looks incredible. I've got uh, 329 out of 480 pieces. They somehow only managed to get 480 pre-orders for this. It is waitlisted now, um, so it would be a little harder to get now. But, uh, yeah, I, I cannot wait to get this out. So, let's get... Oh, yeah, by the way, here's the box. It's got some straps. It comes with, uh, I guess, some instructions here. All right, and we'll take it out. Okay, so in the bottom, there are two sections. Uh, like many statues, this is the bottom section. You can see here's the cat and the whip. And then here is the base. Okay, and then here's the top section. See Catwoman. You can see here real laces. This also moves. There's the head. Got claws. Better be careful with these claws. Because I know on all my other Michelle Pfeiffer pieces, and I have many, as some of you guys might know if you watch my channel, these will break easily. So be careful when you're pulling those out. And real quick, here's a look at the underside of the base before I flip it over, put it on the table. It's again 329 out of 480. It also came with this little card and inside of it is this not exactly sure what this is but it looks cool um it also comes with these instructions that basically tell you to be careful with the heel because of the little grooves which i'll show you actually right now when you're turning her and the and the heel gets stuck in these grooves if you turn it you can snap it so you gotta be really careful to not turn it when her heel is in the grooves okay so here is the base with her on it. And so you can see here where the heel is. See how it's stuck in that groove? So if I were to spin it, which I could, I could spin it around. And in fact, I'm not even 100% sure that that's in the right spot yet. But um, you gotta be careful because it will snap inside of there. So you have to lift it up before you move it around. But so far, I am just in love. Looks wonderful. This is all sculpted. Uh, the only mixed media are these little pieces of thread. That are hanging out here and also these laces is that, is that all the way through let me take a look are these thread yeah i think they are that is thread all the way down love it i love those little uh those little extra details that blitzway puts in here i know a lot of people they're not big fans of mixed media especially in the statue community but to me i think i think blitzway is slowly becoming one of my favorites because they kind of mix things that are really cool about like say hot toys into statues and to me it works really well looks beautiful all right let's get some more stuff on here oh by the way talking about the base this is the button that turns the statue on this little light right here the hello here that does turn on you have to have some AAA batteries i believe there's three of them this little compartment here opens up and there you can see is the battery compartment for the batteries so we will get this lit up and looking cool okay so this is insane i don't even i'm almost i'm a little speechless here this is one of the best head sculpts i've ever seen on any statue and i've got a lot of statues as you guys know this thing is crazy when i pulled out of the box i was like wow like it made me think of like J D, you know with like their crazy silicone pieces and their glass eyes. I mean, this does not have that. This is actually, I, this is, I believe that's PVC. It's, I don't believe it's polystone. I don't know, man, the, the cowl feels like polystone though. But this here feels like PVC. The paint job is insane. Look how beautiful that is. That is her all day. When I first saw pics of this, I was like, eh, the likeness is good, but it's not hundred percent. No, it's, it's a hundred percent. This is a dream piece. This is so cool. This is my favorite movie. 
if you if you've been on my channel for a while you know that this is my absolute this is one of my favorite characters from my favorite film of all time in fact i was on uh one of chris michaels the batman statue collector i was on one of his room reviews years ago and he always asked people if you could have any company make anything who would it be and this was this was one of my picks one third catwoman from Prime 1, although this is Prime 1 Blitzway, which is probably better, if I'm being honest with you. I feel like if Prime 1 had made this by themselves, and I love Prime 1, they're wonderful, but I feel like this turned out better because it was made with Blitzway, in my opinion. I'm wearing gloves because it's so glossy, it would be so easy to leave fingerprints all over it by touching it. Alright, so I've heard that the whip is kind of a hassle, so we're going to find out. Oh, by the way, I was wrong. The battery, it's not three batteries, there's only two batteries. And when you put them in, there you go. Look at that. Cool. Very cool. Turn it on and off with this little button. All right. So let's mess with this whip and see how that goes. Okay, so on the base, you kind of want to get it rotated so that once you get the whip in, okay, there's a little notch. See a little notch, that little hole right there? And then there's a little notch right there. See it? And that is supposed to fit in this. I don't know how well that's going to go. And I'm worried too because this the magnet in this arm is not as strong as I would like it to be. And that scares me. Um, especially messing with this and trying to get it in here at the same time. Um, so you got to be really careful when you're doing that. So, <clears throat> I forgot down here there's a little fan. It does not rotate but there is a little tiny fan inside of this gross looking vent. This is so cool. It's just so reminiscent of the film. It's so good. Oh, I think there should be a pipe or something right there. I have to find that. But yeah, I just want to give you a better look at the base. The whip situation. Um, a lot of people struggle with this. I, I heard a lot of people say they struggled to get the whip in. I didn't really have that much of a problem. It kind of just slips in. The handle slips in separately and then you attach this part once you get it in and you do the only thing i would suggest though is watching out for the nail because when you're putting it in it wants to it wants to get close to this nail and you don't want to snap that nail so just be careful it's a beautiful piece but you gotta be gotta be careful putting this thing together wow look at that it, i'm telling you the, the star of this thing is the head sculpt as it should be Let's get this to focus a little better it looks incredible. Wow. I've got I've got uh, Pattinson coming. Same same company, Blitzway. I've got the Robert Pattinson one third piece coming on Tuesday, and I'm hoping that it's going to be like this. And if it is, Blitzway might be becoming my new company. Okay, so um, the other piece that comes with this, at least this version of it, there's this little cat. And it's freestanding. It doesn't have a key or anything. You can see it's not even leaning against her right now. It can stand on its own. Um, but I'm probably going to have it leaning against her in the future just in case. Let me get this to focus again. Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave it standing like that, though. Uh, there's this little hole back here, and I haven't figured out what it's for. So... I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong there, but I, um, I did force this. This is probably the hardest part was me trying to force this little key into the base because the whip does key into the base right here in the back. And I was really worried because I could kind of feel this moving as I was trying to push this into the base. And it's really not worth it. Like, I don't want this arm to come popping out of there and break. That would be not cool. But I gotta tell you guys, I am blown away by this piece. Th this is beautiful. I know there's a dark side piece coming out and it looks good too. But I, the paint on it just doesn't look like it's gonna do it. it it's cool that it has the alternate portrait. It's very cool actually. I do wish this had an alternate portrait. And maybe they'll give us one, but I kind of doubt it since they only sold 480 of these. Although I think they would do well if they made a portrait and just sold it for like say 300 bucks or whatever. It would probably sell quite well because people will people will shell out three hundred dollars for this, but maybe not fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred dollars. But to me, I would have paid almost anything for this. This is 
one of my favorite characters from my favorite movie of all time. Easily. And I am in love. This, I cannot get over this head sculpt. And the paint. Let me see if I can get a little closer. I mean, look at the eyes. That is crazy. Look at the detail. Look like there's almost like, like this glossy wetness to her eyes that she almost, there's even some like red in there. Really good. It has kind of like that pale effect. She looks very pale in the film. She's probably more pale in the film than she is here. But this is still just crazy. Uh, I don't know, guys. I, I'm very happy. I can't even stop staring at it. I'm just in awe. I, I love, I know this is not a big deal, but I love this. It, it's, it's like whatever. Why does it matter? And the laces, too. Very cool. Very cool. I don't know if I'll probably ever use this light. I probably won't, but it's cool that it's there. Yeah. Uh, still some dust. Yeah, I, I literally took the day off work today to make sure that this got home. Um, I ordered it direct from Prime One using their economy shipping. Took five and a half weeks, just like it did with my, uh, my penguin over there. He also took five and a half weeks. So not terrible. It's about the same as when a hot toy comes out. You're going to wait five and a half weeks. That's about what it takes for these things to get here from Asia. But it, it was worth it. It was worth every dime. This is going to be probably my new grail dream piece in the room. It's going to go, it's going to go in that, uh, what is it called? A rochta back there. Let me, let me measure this thing actually. Yeah. So it's almost exactly 30 inches tall right up to the, to the top of her ear. Yeah, in love, guys. So anyway, I guess I'll wrap it up here. Um, I've got a lot of staring to do tonight, it looks like. Um, on Tuesday, probably late Tuesday afternoon, I should be getting Robert Pattinson's one-third in from Blitzway. Really excited about him. Um, really should have had him today, but pro like Sideshow doesn't send stuff out like as quickly as they used to. So i got to wait till Tuesday, but it is what it is. At least I have this piece to hold me over in the meantime. And I don't think I'm going to be tired looking at that. Man, look at that. Wow. That is crazy. Yeah. Get it. Guys, if you can get this piece, go get it right now. Because they only made 480 of these. And I'm pretty sure the dark side paint is not going to compete with this. I just don't see it happening. So yeah. Anyway, guys. Till next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.